A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to Shebna, master of the palace, I will trust you from your office and pull you down from your station. On that day, I will summon my servant, Eliakim, son of Hilkiah. I will clothe him with your robe and gird him with your sash and give over to him your authority. He shall be the father of the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. I will place the key of the house of David on Eliakim's shoulder when he opens, and no one shall shut when he shuts. No one shall open. I will fix him like a peg in a sure spot to be the place of honor for his family. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Oh, the depths of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How inscrutable are his judgments and how unsearchable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Or who has given the Lord anything that he may be repaid? And from him and through him, And for him are all things. To him the glory be forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. The Gospel of the Lord. Who do you say that I am? I love that question from Christ. I love it, and I find it extremely challenging. Who do you say that I am? Now, if somebody asks you the question, who is Jesus Christ? I'd expect all of you to come up with the right answer in one form or another. He's God. He's the second person of the Trinity. He is whom I worship. He is whom I follow. He is my Lord. Something in those regards. We'd come up with the right words. But who do you say that I am? Really to ponder that question of, with how I live my life, who do I say Jesus Christ is? And how I treat my neighbor, and how I treat my parents, or my children, my coworkers, my employees, my employer, How do I say that Jesus Christ is Lord in all of those situations? Or do I? Do I really say it? Do I hide it? Uh, uh, Yeah, yeah, I'm one of those Catholics, um, but we're, we're just like everybody else. Are we? Frankly, if you know enough about the Catholic Church, you'll know that we are weird. We are weird people. 
<clears throat> we are weird in that we follow Christ in a very specific manner. Our Sunday Mass, you can go to Haiti and go to Sunday Mass. You won't know what the words are per se, but you know what's going on. You can go to Japan. You won't know what the words are, but you'll know what's going on. We're kind of weird like that. We have priests who wear strange attire that nobody else wears. We're kind of weird. We follow a pastor in a parish that we didn't choose. We didn't choose our pastor. It was chosen for us. Kind of weird. We follow a bishop that we had no say in who that bishop was going to be. It's kind of weird. We follow a pope that we have absolutely no idea how he ended up as pope. Some people like him, some people don't. But we still, it's like, okay, they went into this locked room and they chose a pope. Why they chose him, God only knows. Even the people electing might say, God only knows why we made that decision. We're kind of weird. And it's important that it all revolve around this one question. Who do you say that I am? Do we believe that Jesus Christ is God? Do we really believe it? If so, it should shape everything that we do, most particularly how we live our faith. Why do we follow the Pope? Because he was given authority by Christ. The first Pope is Peter. When Peter is told, you are Peter, which means rock, and upon this rock I will build my church. That foundation stone would be Peter. And the, the authority of the Pope has been passed down from generation to generation, the Bishop of Rome. Sometimes Pope Francis likes to use that title, Bishop of Rome. Who is the Pope? He is the Bishop of Rome. Why does that matter? The first Bishop of Rome, his name was Peter. And that authority has been passed down. And there have been different ways of choosing the Pope over the centuries. It hasn't always been the clean manner that we have now. But the Bishop of Rome has inherited this promise. Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Do we believe that? Do we believe the church has that authority grounded in Peter, the Pope? Are we willing to follow the church even when we don't agree? Those are hard questions. Are you willing to follow the church even when you don't agree? Hmm. Well, if you think it's a human institution founded by a human person, go ahead, believe what you want to believe. But if you believe it was founded by Jesus Christ, who is God and God would not lie, then this authority has been given to the church. And that call is upon our hearts to live it. To live it when it's difficult, to live it when it's easy, to live it. Not just to say it. It's easy to say Jesus Christ is Lord. But to live it in every aspect of my life. And I will tell you, I am a failure at that. And I have no problem admitting that. But that's part of why he said, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. 
And the authority flowing from that has been passed down as well to go back to the confessional time and time again and hear your sins are forgiven. Go in peace. To know that that is true, not because the priest is a nice person, sometimes they're not. I've been told that you have one of the meanest pastors in the county. Meanest Catholic priest in the county. It's actually true. I'm the only priest in the county. But to really believe that, and seek it out. If I believe that my sins can be forgiven in the confessional, why am I not there more often? Each day, it's important for us to stop, pause, and reflect on this one question. Who do you say that I am? 